We are grateful to the federal government for this important project. It will certainly ease our transportation difficulty. This driver obviously speaks to the minds of the team in motorists plying the ever busy Zario Guso Federal Highway whose dualization project commenced about seven months ago. The Minister of Works, Senator David Omahi, is on an inspection visit to the second and third sections of the more than 372-kilometer road project, which covers Talata Mafara, Lugusau, and Gusau Tushini. Senator Omahi, who expressed satisfaction of the quality of the work done so far, however, ordered for a sort of modification in the execution of the project. I'm very, very impressed with uh, Cetraco. Uh, the speed of the work, the quality of the work, I give them kudos. The visit is to also further demonstrate the commitment of the Tinibu administration to adequately take care of the existing gap in funding the project to pave way for the timely completion of the work, even as the minister issued a serious warning to the contractors. The federal government will not pay for any variation of this project within the limit of what they have mobilized. It is a standard. And so with this policy of Federal Minister of Works, it means that contractors will have to double their speed so as to exhaust uh, the, uh, uh, the mobilization given to them. Challenges which is quite clear to everybody of security and we're happy to learn from the state government all that is being done to minimize and curtail activities of uh, bandits on this road. The acting federal controller of works and forest state, Asimo Yusuf, said the second section of the project, Gusau Shemi Road, was awarded the cost of 195 billion naira, while the third section of the work covered in Gusau to Talat Mafara Colony Road was awarded at the cost of 237 billion naira, with a total of 35 bridges and has 48 and 50 months completion period, respectively. The minister was at the government house, Gusau, where he specifically solicited the support of Governor Dodalawal in the area of compensation payment to some communities whose property have been affected by the road project. So we thank the federal government and we thank the Honorable Minister for finding the time to be here to see for himself what is happening. The visit also provided an avenue to discuss more areas of collaboration between Zamfara State and the federal government in infrastructural development in Gusau, Jamilu, Ibrahim, NTA News.